It's the NBA Live on 2K Sports on this Tuesday afternoon. I'm Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg. Doris Burke will join us moments from now. This Boston crowd ready to roar in this Eastern Conference matchup for the Celtics. Here are the five for the Raptors. We've got Camby and Williams. And for the Celtics, we've got Allen and Walker. Last season, a trying one for the Raptors and their fans just missing the playoffs in the East. Well, it came right down to the wire, Kevin. The Raptors actually played fairly well against the Eastern Conference, 229 and 23. You wonder if they could have made a little noise in the playoffs had they gotten there. Now, Wesson. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, over to you. Well, guys, Marcus can be consistently one of the best rebounders in the NBA. How does he rebound as well as he does? Well, Marcus says it's not just about going out there and getting it. I study my opponents a lot. I study the projectile of the basketball, trying to get myself in a good position to rebound shots. Guys, he's got the length and also the mentality to be a beast on the backboards. Anticipating the bounce, a key to rebound, and can be is a master. Thanks, Doris. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Stoudemire. Williams on the rebound. Celtics on offense. Here's Walker. Boston again missing. Starting this game, nothing's going down for him. Turnover by the Raptors. Good defensive footwork shut down this path to the basket. And it's the Celtics with the ball. Christ is tagged with the reach. That is his first foul of the game. Making a switch here are the Celtics. Toronto ID. Fox, he's guarded by Williams. And here is Wesley. For three. Boston again missing on defense Boston here's Christie takes it up connects from in close hopefully both teams can pick up their scoring the game is about putting it in the basket that first basket took a while here's West it's blocked Here's West. The alley -oop. Walker defended by Jones. Number nine. A little long, but it goes in. He drew the D in and then kicked it out to the open man. Stop by. Covered by West. Camby with four seconds on the clock. Well, he gives up some height, but he didn't give up the rock. Nice ball. No good. That's the end of the first, and both teams still warming up their offenses. It's more NBA coming your way. A second quarter getting away. It's been a close one so far. And so here is Toronto. So on the floor for Toronto to start the second quarter. We've got Camby and Williams. The shot is off. So Boston will take it the other way. Fans of Celtics, they built such a rapport with the franchise. Each generation, it seems, to grow. And Boston now is a veteran team. You know, frankly, though, one of the older teams in the NBA. Absolutely, Kevin. And there were a lot of questions about if their window might be passed or closing. I think the way they played in May answered all of those questions, though. They still are a championship-caliber team and can turn it on when they need to. And Toronto has possession, following the bucket by the Celtics. Here's Day. Cannot hit, and Toronto the other way. You can't D up a layup any better than that. Nice work. You mentioned turning it on. You wonder, though, if they're going to try to turn it on. It's oh! Brought to you by Sprite, the Sprite Slam Cam on the replay. He has almost supernatural bouncing ability. He can bounce right out of the building. <laughs> Only a handful of players have that kind of athleticism, Clark. Here's Wes. Jump off pass. Baseline jumper blocked. Christie covered by West. Oh! <laughs> that should be absolutely illegal. Fantastic pass for the alley-oop. 
You gotta love that action. Looks like they've worked on that one before. Yeah, they've done it countless times. Here's Wesley. 57 seconds left in the second. Here's one. Takes a three. And that's collected by Camby. Throws it up. Oh! oh <laughs> my goodness. Wow. Wow. Boy, when you run the fast break correctly, it's a thing of beauty. Here's Wesley. No points for him. Here's Day. Number 30 is whistled for the loose ball foul. That's his first foul. And the Celtics making a change here. And Toronto has possession. They lead by four. Mark down low that time, and he got the three seconds. Off. Here's Brown. Jacks up the triple, and that one's good. Brown's got himself on the board with three there. And so here is Toronto. Got a piece of it. That'll do it for the first half. The Raptors out in front, up by one. It's Tuesday in the NBA, and we're here with the HP Halftime Report to tell you all about it. A tightly contested game for the Raptors up against the Boston Celtics. A huge advantage in points in the paint. They're having their way inside. There's been some great work by Marcus Camby in this one. Lighten up that scoreboard. He's making it ring like a pinball machine. On the other side, the Celtics looking pretty solid as well. They've played gritty D and have been hauling in the defensive rebounds. A valuable contribution so far by Ray Allen. Lighten up that scoreboard. He's making it ring like a pinball machine. That's it for us. We hope you enjoyed the second half action. Now let's get back to Kevin Harlan, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. So the start of the third quarter here is a close game. We'll see if either team can get an edge. And Toronto has possession. It's a one-point game. And Williams. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Got a piece of it. Boston trailing. From the wing. And it's Wesley missing. And so here is Toronto. They lead by one. Toronto came in second in the Atlantic Division last year, 11 and 5. Yeah, and Toronto and Boston were really the only good teams in that division. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. In regards to performance on home court for Boston, 24 wins in the regular season for the Celtics last year. Not bad, not great, not bad though. Not typical of a championship contending team, but they were so dominant the year before that it did seem like they let down considerably with those 24 wins at home. Here's Jones. Pass to Camby. And the low post shot is good. Camby's got his first two points. Tell you what, you get close like that every time, you'll have a productive offense. Clark, back to the Celtics at home. I'm sure fans will forgive them, though, after the way they played at home in the playoffs when they were really terrific. Without question, Kevin. I mean, the way the Celtics have regrouped, the fans are extremely pleased. And uh, you know what? They've had a fantastic playoff stretch because they found themselves healthy and fired up and focused. And rest. Got the dunk and the foul. Kevin, they're fighting extremely hard right here. Bit by bit, just trying to pull away. And the Celtics making a change here. And no problem at the line here for the three-point play. And it's the Celtics with the ball. Trailing here by eight. Leslie with the ball. Not on the scoreboard yet. Will it go? The shot by Williams, no good. When you settle for that kind of shot, that's a wasted possession. That is not a high percentage look. Now, Camby. 
Here's Ademeyer. Nails the buzzer beater. They got it to double digits as we get set for the final quarter. That three has them fired up. We play through three in the double digit game going on here. Raptors. And now let's send it to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for a spike spark of the game. Doris. Thanks, Kevin. And it's the Raptors with the Spark Award for the stretch they put together. Their commitment to stifling defense has been a focal point as they continue to build on this lead, guys. Great, Doris. That big scoring run being a difference maker a Clark in this game. Well, it often comes in spurts, Kevin. Spurtability is what I call it, and that's what happened today. Here's Brown. On the court for Toronto to start the fourth. We've got Camby and Jones. Here's Day. Goes up. Hangs and hits. Such a creative finish. That was an impressive move. Raptors leading by nine. Stuffed. And here's Brown. Can't connect on the quick shot. 128 left to the fourth. Left side, Williams. Takes it up. The shot is off, so Boston will take it the other way. Here's Day. Williams pulls it in. That was his to make, but he let the defense bother him. Can't do that on those lands. You gotta concentrate and finish. Pass to Campbell. From deep. Elijah grabs the rebound inside. With his shooting ability, he might as well have shot that one from half court. No chance. Here's Fox. That doesn't fall. Can't drop his first shot. And the Raptors with possession. Christie, he's covered by Brown. Here's Christie. And good with the shot. And the whistle blows for the contact and a chance for one more. And a new group in for the Celtics. Nice job at the line, and that one falls to pick up the end one. And that'll do it, Kevin. Those last free throws were the icing on the cake. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're down by 12. 40 seconds left in the game. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Kevin, the head coach from the Celtics, had some instruction for his guys during that break. He pumped his team up saying, it's moments like these that you play for. Leave everything you have on the court and play like you know you can. Let's watch, Kevin. Making a switch here. Oh! <laughs> Good. Wow. Right on the verge of victory now. They don't need much more than to just take care of the basketball. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They're losing by 14. 28 seconds left to the fourth. Making a switch here. The Celtics. And it's the Celtics with the ball. It's a 14-point game. The three. That's good. Well, for the Raptors, they can just run out the clock. Stoudemire shuts it down. Kevin doesn't miss those layups off. Interior D made him think about that one. The train. Walker's shot is off. From deep three-point range. No dice. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. Not much to be critical of with this win, Clark. Not at all. I mean, they showed up not just to play. They showed up to give great effort and to win, and they did both. Thanks for joining us for this presentation of NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. For Doris Burke and the whole crew and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying see you next time. But first, let's check out the Jordan Brand player of the game.